girls. Hey, what's up with it? Hold up, let me get the, let me get the, the full day and everything, can I? Okay, today is February 26th. Today is Friday and it is 10.29 in the a.m. I don't even know where to begin at. Girl, all I know is I had to come on and I had to cut this camera on and I had to get some shit off my chest and I had to, I just had to vent, okay, if you will. Um, fellas, I don't know if you guys want to sit in on this right here or not. Um, this is about uh, uh, some current events here in my life and, you know, uh, and I don't know if you want to sit in on this shit or not. Okay, I'm getting ready to talk about a date I went on, pretty much. Um, so if you don't want to hear about this date, then, you know, I don't know. I, I guess you can find you something else to do. You know what I mean? Go find you something else to do. And then come back here later on. You know what I'm saying? Wallace, he running the dough right now. So Wallace, you know what I'm saying? Belinda and them, let them in. It's okay. Come on in, Juanita. You can come on in, too. Oh, Cheryl, behind. Come on in, Cheryl. Shit, that bitch a freak anyway. That bitch, that bitch been trying to eat my pussy. Come on in, Cheryl. You can come on in. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Hold on, y'all. Look, check this out. Weeda coming in this motherfucker. You, are y'all ready? Y'all, I got Weeda. I got, uh-oh, Patrice. She coming. Okay, yeah. I got all my girl Ernestine. She on her way right. Girl, if you don't come in this motherfucker. So I got all my girls. All, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Of all different age groups, we all up in this motherfucker. And we finna have us a little woman to woman get down, can we? We got to. Now, I know I've been MIA. I've been MIA because I have been working on a project, y'all. They hired me to do this little project, you know, to help with some, some things. And so I've been working on that. And, you know, I had to, you know what I'm saying, kind of keep that on the hush a little bit. It's behind the scenes shit, but it's cool. And, uh, you know, as as I'm able, I'll, you know, it'll be some things that I can discuss. But we ain't talking about that. Right now, we talking about I went on this date. Okay? Now, first, before we get into the date, now, y'all remember. See, look, I got these other videos that I haven't posted. I have a day in a life, and um, I took you guys shopping. This was a couple of what, two Fridays ago, and I had taped this whole thing, you know, it's all on my computer to be, uh, uh, spliced together, you know, to bring it out, but I haven't done that because this editing shit put me on a whole different level, like it's math, you know what I'm saying, I, like, avoid it like math, like, like, you know, it put me through a whole different get down, I'm, I'm just that sick with it when it come down to that editing shit, I really wish... I had a motherfucker that would hold, do the camera thing, and all I got to do is, uh, okay, what what I need to do? You need me to talk some shit for a minute? Okay, no problem. Uh, I'm going to sit right here? Okay, no problem. Uh, rolling, and then let me go. You know what I mean? And then at the end of the day, I jet out, I go home, they edit the shit, they put it together, and it's over with. Or, you know, however way it go. All this editing shit is some bullshit. You know, I much rather prefer for me, like right now, cut this motherfucker on. Whatever it is, it's going to be. If some shit is out of line, motherfucking titties and this, that, this, whatever. Hey, check this out. This is what the fuck it is. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And when I'm through, I'm going to cut this motherfucker off and I'm going to upload. Okay? That's how I do mine. I don't know how everybody else do mine, but that's how I do mine, and it's easier for me. All that other shit and putting words in and sprinkles of pixie dust and motherfucking camera switching this way and that way and icons on the bottom and motherfucker talking over here in the corner. Man, I can't do all that shit. I don't know how y'all do it. Voice over this and that, man. Hey, I... Look, I need a, I, I, I need a friend that can do all that shit right, right, right with me. The way as they do that shit, I do this, and nigga, you do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do all that motherfucking. I ain't good with all that old type of motherfucking shit. Hell, you know, a motherfucker put gong in, and, and, and I hear some on some people videos and shit. You know what I'm saying? They say some shit, and it, you know what I'm saying? You know, it'd be like a clap on the end, or it'd be all kind of shit. Be going, like, God damn, what? Man, man, look, that's too much shit to read. I can't, I, I ain't gonna be able to do it. I need somebody else to do that shit for me, so then therefore all I gotta do is come up in this motherfucker, say what I need to say, and do it pushing. You know what I'm saying? So, but I can't, I, you know, 
It is what it is. So now we just got to cut the camera on and keep it pushing. Barbara, bitch, if you don't bring your ass up in this motherfucker, shit, come bring your motherfucking ass up in this motherfucker. Y'all, there's more people coming in the room. It's more people coming in, and it's a whole bunch of girls. We finna, look, we just finna talk for a minute. I don't give a fuck what, what kind of consequence it is, okay? I don't give a shit about the consequence right now. I need to get this motherfucking shit off my chest because it's been fucking me up for a whole week now. Okay, now I'm finna start a whole nother motherfucking weekend, and I got this shit on my heart. I got to let it go. I, got, I can't hold it in no further. You know what I mean? Anyway, cause I ain't been answering nobody calls now. My cousin been getting at me because they want uh, they want me to come to the family reunion. And so, you know, and I ain't called you, mama. I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? But I'm coming to Texas. Don't worry about it. July, I'm there. I got where y'all trying to go with things and shit and all that shit. Just, you know what I'm saying? Give me a shirt that's going to fit me right. I don't want no big ass motherfucking two X's and shit. You know what I'm saying? Give me a kid one. I'll take a kid in a large. Give me one of them because I want my shit to be fitting around this right here. I don't. I want all this right here to fit right. I don't want no big ass motherfucking shirt and shit. That's what I don't want. You know what I'm saying? Then I got to try to cut the motherfucker and take an arm out or something. I don't want to do all that. Just give me one from the kid from 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 the kid part. I want my shit to be tight. I'm doing it purposely. I don't want my shit loose. I don't want no big ass motherfucking shirt on. I got this covered all up in this motherfucking stomach, but they put it on, lift it up over the ass so that part can be out. I don't none of that, because I'm finna put me some motherfucking shorts on, tuck all this in, this motherfucking um uh 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 kid tee and uh little belt and shit on, but do you see all that right? Yeah. You gonna be able to see toe, all that. You're gonna be able to see hip thigh. Ass, bone, ham, hock, all that. I, I'm going to tuck mine in. I don't I don't need mine, you know what I'm saying, done lapping. I, I, that, okay? So, anyway. But, girls, look. I got to talk to y'all about something. I know I went on some my cousin shit because she already know that, you know. I can't get on the phone with you and we just talk regularly. It, it'll be a long, drawn out thing. I'm telling you, I'm coming. That's just the bottom line. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. And give me a, a kid size large. Okay. Now. <clears throat> but, girls, look. <clears throat> Okay, y'all, well, y'all don't know because I ain't really been on, but I'm getting, I'm back on getting some work done on the house, okay, and actually I'm getting floors put in up under the tile and stuff. I had some hardwood flooring, okay, and so they were like, okay, well, you know, the tile is, uh, I think it's a uh, uh, backer board or you know, something like that. Up under the up under the tile and the back of board and stuff with some hardwood floors. So they was like, okay, well, let's take all this up and then, you know, refinish the floors and all this kind of stuff. Then I was like, well, no. You know, then as we were talking about it, I was like, I don't want to do that because there's concrete in certain parts of the house. You know, on the additions of the house, those are on two, two feet of... Um, Two feet footings and on two feet concrete slabs and stuff. So I'm like, okay, well, what apart? What about on that end? It ain't gonna, you know, it ain't gonna work right or whatever. So we ended up going with some Pergo Max. So they putting Pergo Max all in the front part of the house and through my room and all this kind of stuff. So I'm getting some floors and shit put in. But in the midst of it all, for the past couple of months, okay. Me and one of my friends, I'm going to say my friend because, of course, I can't blast his name out there and shit like that. Because, you know what I'm saying, he got a career and it won't be, you know what I'm saying, cool, you know, on me putting, you know, I can't do all that. Okay. So, anyway, but we met 10 years ago. And in the midst of, uh, I know some motherfuckers is doing the math right there. Wait a minute, did that bitch say 10 years? Okay, do, do, do. Okay, nigga, uh, didn't she have a motherfucking husband? That nigga was in the house back then. Excuse me, bitch. Don't be trying to come up in my tilt right here and try to correct me on my shit. I could tell my story better than me, motherfucker. You know, because there's always going to be some motherfucker in the back. Be like, wait a minute, bitch. <clears throat> Hold on, there's a discrepancy. Bitch, sit down. Excuse me. Let me get to all that, boo-boo. Don't worry about this right here. My trunk been tight, boo. Okay? Uh, it's called got it. Okay? Damn. This nigga here. I can't talk to you right now. Shit. Okay. So, uh, anyway. So, uh, we met about 10 years ago. 
you know, before my husband and I totally broke it off. Of course, you go through trials and tribulations before you just say, nigga, I'm cool. <laughs> you know, it's some time before that happened. So I didn't leave my house until August the 1st, 2006. That's when I was like, nigga, I'm gone from this motherfucker. That's when I left this house right here and I went to my mom's house. Um, until after my mom's passing and all that. But, however, this, I left my house and my house was empty at that time. But, do I need to get on into that motherfucking shit, nigga? Them motherfuckers gonna be like, well, goddamn, well, what happened then? And what happened then? Bitch, open up a can of worms. What else happened? I had some squatters in this motherfucker that I had to evict. Yeah, motherfuckers came on in, got to cut those motherfucking, nigga, how y'all get, how y'all get electricity in this motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? How these motherfuckers was able to run some shit? Yeah, trust and believe. Them motherfuckers that used to work at old-ass gas company and shit, they know how to get some shit cut on. Cable and all that kind of shit don't, hey, hmm. But now I got a smart meter on the house now. So now you just can't go out there and get to cutting the meter on and shit. That was some old 87 shit that people used to do in this house had the old meter. And so the squatters had cut, you know, they cut their shit on. So, but I had to evict them. <clears throat> anyway. So, um, um, in the midst of it all, I met this guy. Met him on Black People Meet. Ain't that a bitch? I met this motherfucker on Black People Meet. Okay, so that let y'all know how long Black People Meet been out, okay? My husband was on Black People Meet. That's what fucked us all up. He was on Black People Meet and BigBooty.com. It was some shit called BigBooty.com back in 06, 05, or round up in that era. Okay, my husband was on it. Huh. So when I saw that he had him a little profile and shit, and he had his little shit going on tight, I said, oh, okay, what what this do? You know what I'm saying? So I got me, I, I jumped my motherfucking ass on Black People Meet. Well, when I got on Black People Meet, you know, I was meeting, you know, meeting different, you know, men from all over the place, you know what I'm saying? But when, you know, when you get on these dating sites and shit, you meet somebody that you click with, but them motherfuckers live in goddamn D.C. some motherfucking way. I'm like, damn, ain't that a bitch? That's fucked up the way that happens. Huh? It's like you go on a motherfucking site, you meet somebody that you click real well with, but this motherfucker right here is 485 miles away. It's like, damn, fuck, you know? And it was like that. Well, and actually he was on the East Coast. I'm just going to say it that way. Nigga, I can't talk to you right now. Shit. I can't talk to you right now, nigga. Shit. And so, um, anyway, so he had sent me a plane ticket in November of 2006. At this point in time, I was over there at my mama's house. My house was empty. My husband jetted out, too, because the military had sent him out. So since the military had sent him out, my that's what made the house empty. So... I began, me and him began to talk, but he lived on the East Coast, so, you know, that's how, you know, we was on the phone, now on three hang up type old shit, you know what I'm saying, talking to this motherfucker, get ready to go to work in the morning, not all that old type of shit, right? But it was cool because, you know, I didn't know anything about internet dating and shit, nigga was eager like a motherfucker, I was believing them niggas when they say, oh, you make 250, what a year, yeah. All that shit that, you know what I'm saying, that be coming out like that, you really believe that shit because, you know, you new booty, you don't really understand, you new to social media, you know what I'm saying? So you get swept up in the game. So, but he and I, we kept in contact all this length of time that when he sent, sent for me back in November of 2006, nigga, I went down there, we had the best time, oh my God, oh my God, I had... This motherfucker. Okay? I'm a cussing nigga out. Y'all gonna hear something. Y'all ain't gonna wanna understand. In a few more motherfucking minutes, this nigga call back one more goddamn time. Now, I done pressed some shit to where I can't hear it ring no more. But you let this motherfucker call one more goddamn time and it's gonna be a brief intermission. Okay? All right. <clears throat> so, anyway. Let me get to the point, girls. But, you know, this is some neat and neat shit. So, you know, it's gonna take a minute so I can get to it. Anyway, so, you know, I went down there. We had a beautiful weekend. Everything was just beautiful. And I just was crying and shit when he took me to the airport. I didn't want to go home and shit. But I knew I had three small babies. And, you know, he had a career going on where he was. And, you know, it was just, it was crazy. And, you know, we had a, 
uh, 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 shoot to kill shit that we had going on, but it was some long distance shit. You know, how we gonna keep that up? You know what I mean? I'm just getting separated from my husband. I'm going through that little, you know what I'm saying? And then here you come, make me feeling this and that. I'm believing everything you're saying. You know what I'm saying? So it was one of those type of things. So throughout the course of these years, we still begin to, you know, keep in contact from time to time and how you doing, how you been, and all that old type of shit. So he's also on my Facebook, right? So on Facebook, you guys know, I get to post on all kind of shit. For those of y'all motherfuckers that ain't on my Facebook or my real motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, the main one, nigga, you know what's going on from one moment to the next. You're missing some shit. You missing, nigga, you not up to date. You just not up to date. Because Facebook is my shit. Now, I can't fuck with, I, I got a Twitter shit, so when I post on Instagram and I automatically go to my Twitter and my this right here and this and Tumblr and all that shit. But I'm not active over there. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know how to get on my Tumblr shit right. I know how to post over there, but you know, the, I don't know if y'all got a timeline. I don't know. I, you know what I'm saying? I just post over there and I do it moving. So if you ask me something, I don't know how to answer back. I'm fucked up over there. On Twitter, too, because I don't even know how to answer her on Twitter. I don't know. Tashina Ono reached out, and she was like, okay, hey, girl, how you doing? Nigga, I didn't even know how to respond. But I was like, ain't that a bitch? I didn't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, there it is. But, at any rate, we kept in contact all these many years. We still been cool. You know, how you doing? How you been? How your mama? And all that shit. Well, he wants to move to California. This motherfucker, okay, about two years ago, he sent me a message. So he was like, well, Tina, I want to come to California. I want to come see you and yada, yada, yada. I chickened out. That, I mean, I chickened out. The motherfucker came all the way down here. And now he didn't. Now, let, let me be clear because I don't want motherfuckers to be like, that motherfucker came all the way down there, bitch, and you didn't show up. That's fucked up. It wasn't like, well, I want to believe that he didn't solely come down here to come see me. That's what I want to believe. That's what my heart, that's, you know, what my head is trying to, you know, make me to believe. You know what I mean? That, you know, now nah, that was a business trip. He didn't come solely down here to come see me. So that's, that's what I want to believe. But anyway, when he came, I didn't go see him. You know, you guys know I've been in a relationship with Kenny for, what, seven years? Off and on. Uh, motherfucking bullshit and this and that. I mean, just, you know what I'm saying? This is, Kenny has been my friend. You know what I mean? The whereas I ain't got to be nobody else. I ain't, none of that shit is, uh, nigga, this what's happening. This is what it is. Let's get it and, nigga, uh, see about it. You know what I'm saying? It's one of them. When you've been with somebody for a long time, shit, nigga, fuck you, nigga. Come right here, nigga, and go on. Good night. Yeah, it's one of them, you know what I mean? So, but but it's like that when you're in a season type of union, you know what I'm saying? And y'all understand each other and shit, and sometimes you just don't want to be bothered with this motherfucker. And it's okay, you don't want to be bothered with you either. There's no extra airs to put on it. It's like, nigga, uh, see you later, bye. Yeah, one of them. So, when he came the last time, apparently we was on the good foot, so when he came, I was like, you know, I really didn't think the motherfucker was coming, so I was like... You know, it's not, a, it's not a good time, yada, yada, yada. Motherfucker came anyway. So when he came, you know, I didn't go to the hotel to go see him or anything. I didn't, we didn't go to L.A. We didn't hang out. We didn't do anything. So, you know, I was like, okay, well, I know he's mad. He's mad at me at this point in time because it's like, nigga, you stood me up. If the shoe was on the other foot, I'd be mad at motherfucker, nigga. That's called deal breaker type shit like a motherfucker, right? So, I was like, okay, so that, that happened a couple of years ago, and I fucked it off. So, then, a few months back, he was like, well, Tina, I'm, I want to come back to California, but I want to move back. I mean, I want to move here. And I was like, move here? Wait a minute. Hold on now. Wait a minute. Hold the fuck the phone. You know what I'm saying? Are you serious right now? What, 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 what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? That was 10 years ago. Since then, I done seen your Facebook. You done seen mine. I done seen you with all kind of honey dips, chicken strips, uh, cat... Man, catfish nuggets, all kind. I done seen you with all this motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, uh, nigga, uh, apparently you've been doing your thing, which is cool. It's no problem. It's obvious from looking at my Facebook, of course, I've been with somebody all these many years. So, okay, okay. But now you're moving here. Okay, what's going on? 
So he's like, well, I'm moving here, yada, yada, yada. I'm coming in February because I'm, you know, I'm house hunting and th things of that nature. And, you know, I, I would like for you to take me around and, you know, just kind of hang out with a brother. You know what I'm saying? You, uh, you know, I, I don't know your city. I don't know your, I don't know uh, Southern California. So I was like, okay. You know, this was a couple of months ago. A couple of months ago, uh, nigga, uh, Kenny who? You know what I'm saying? I was like, it was one of them where I needed a break. And nigga, I was on recess at that point in time. So I was doing me like a motherfucker. Y'all already know, 2015, nigga, shit, hey, look, I was doing my own motherfucking thing from time to time. Shit, they was like, nigga, where your man at? I said, oh, shit, I don't know. Uh, what, what, what's, what's happening now? Yeah, I was having a good ass time. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that I was stopping and bopping. I'm just saying that, you know, hey, you know, I wasn't, you can't just put me with nobody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, Kenny is, that's my partner and all that old type of shit. But nigga, uh, excuse me. Yeah. So, anyway, that motherfucker came this past weekend, bottom line. The motherfucker came, showed up. So, he calls me, I think, Thursday night. I didn't answer the Oh, okay. Okay, nigga. Because it was about to go down. You see that motherfucker let it ring and then hung up. Because, uh, uh, yeah. So, anyway. He called me Thursday night. I couldn't answer the phone at that point in time. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker was, you know what I'm saying? I was about to get me one. So, I was like, okay, I can't answer right now. I see it's you. You know what I'm saying? I knew he was coming at some point in time, but I wasn't really, you know what I'm saying? We not talking on the phone frequently to where it's, hey, how you doing? What's going on? We ain't doing that. You know what I mean? We talked on the phone maybe a couple of weeks ago. You know, sporadically. We ain't talk out on the phone on three hang up no more. So, it's like, okay, according to your Facebook, you know what I'm saying? You doing your thing. Hell, I'm doing my thing. Whatever. Okay, now you coming. Okay, now what? Girls, the motherfucker showed up. For real. He came. Thursday night, called me, said, you know what I'm saying? I'm at the airport. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, this where I'm going to be at. This and that and other. And um, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, this, this, and this. I was like, oh, my God. Okay. So, I was like, okay, I'm having this working shit done at the house, you know, and uh, I got shit going on right now. I, you know, I got to pick Anthony up from work at night. This motherfucker still can't drive. So, nigga, I got, I got shit going on right now, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, you know, I'm trying to, um, and plus I got deadline. I got shit going on right now. Plus I got these motherfuckers. Oh, I got shit going on in my house. And man, uh, what are we talking about? You know what I mean? So he was like, okay, well, you know, well, I'm gonna call you in the morning and this, this, and this. I was like, okay. So Friday morning, I don't think I had talked to him or anything. I didn't call him at all because I had shit going on here at the house. You know, one hour going to two and three, and, you know, he texts me. You know, I didn't text him back sometimes. Sometimes I did. Sometimes I didn't. You know, it was kind of sporadic because, you know, I had a lot going on. So, so Saturday, they, he, him and his friends, some of his friends, because he do have some friends and stuff that live here, they were having this party. They were having a party because, you know, he's moving out here, and, you know, it was like a little dinner party that they were having at, you know, his friend's house, and, you know, he wanted me to come, you know what I'm saying, put my little whoop wop on, and, you know, I guess to show his friends what he, you know what I'm saying, gonna be fucking with when he get here. I don't know what the setup was, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what the twist was. I don't know. But... On my way going to go get Anthony from work, he I called him because he had called me a couple times. So I called him up and I was like, hey, babe, you know, you know, yeah. And so uh, he was like, hey, what's going on? You know, um, you know, damn, you ain't called me back. You ain't nothing, nothing, nothing. You know, um, what's up? What, 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 you know, what, what's happening, babe? And I was like, well, you know, I got this going on at the house and this and this and this. He didn't want to hear none of that motherfucking shit. He was like, well, you know what, Tina? That's going to be so fucked up. I'm going to be so disappointed. Yada, yada. I said, okay, look. I cannot come over there tonight. I can't come over there tonight. Um, matter of fact, I'm waiting on my son to come out the gate. I'm at the, you know what I'm saying, at his job to pick him up. Or now he want to know, well, da, 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 da. why you got to da, da, I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, partner. You know what I'm saying? Um, my son still can't drive yet. 
<laughs> and he's like, how old is he? So here we go into that shit. You know what I'm saying? I know. I know, y'all. I baby the fuck out my kids. I covenant these motherfuckers, and it ain't good. I know that it ain't. I'm too motherfucking old to be taking picking my son up from work and taking that motherfucker to work and shit. I already know I am. I know it. I know it. I know it, and I'm wrong for it. But he's been driving though. He's I put him on the freeway and shit like that. A little side note. Hold on, I'm gonna get back to this nigga. But you know my son. You know he's he's doing much better. But black is a big truck. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, man, look, I'm doing the best I can, but. My baby's still not driving, you know. He's still not driving, like, full time. Like, I, I will, like, days that I take him to work, I'll have him drive to work, and then I just drive his truck back. I back it up in the driveway. I haven't taken him, taken the truck to pick him up in the wee hours of the morning, so then therefore he can get the experience of driving back home. That part we ain't done yet, you know what I'm saying? And the motherly thing in me, because, you know, he got to get on the freeway and all, I'm a little bit nervous about all that, you know what I mean? So, he's just not there yet, and I don't know what else to do. You know, I don't know, and my son is far from slow. You see what kind of motherfucking job he got on this first job, you know what I'm saying? He he, he one of them, he's, he's very, he's, uh... My son is a very intellectual, very, very smart kid. Well, he's not a kid. He's a young man. But he's one of them. You know what I mean? And he sold himself. He got the job on his own merit. Passed the test. Went down there. Everything was flying colors. He don't do no dope. He don't drink. He don't do none of that. So the physical and shit was bomb. They hired that nigga, you know. So he's been working now over there for a minute now. You know what I'm saying? My, my son is a government employee. I'm like, damn, you know. Making nice little change and shit, you know what I'm saying? He responsible, bought him a little PlayStation 4 and some, you know, a little bullshit that he liked, little iPods and pads and, you know, he bought that kind of bullshit, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, hey, he don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with him, he go and do as he please, he got his own little friends, they fuck with Uber, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it is what it is. So, but uh, anyway, 